Hi, my name is Jennifer and today I'm going to be performing a modified knots heartworm test. Uh, first things first, I got my ML of blood uh, anticoagulated with heparin. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull an ML uh, of my anticoagulated blood and place it in the centrifuge tube. So. Alright, then I'm going to pull 9 mls of saline and add it to my centrifuge tube. This may take me just a minute. <laughs> Next, I'm going to make sure that I get my balance for my centrifuge tube. So I'm going to make sure that I fill up my balance with the same amount of fluid that there is in my heartworm tube. And I'm going to place my sample into the centrifuge for five minutes on either 1,000 to 1,500, on either 1,000 to 1,500 RPM. And then we wait. Okay, now that my tube has, has spun for five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and take it out of the centrifuge. And then I am going to pour out the supernatin into the sink. Afterwards, I'm going to head, to, going to head and put a drop, one drop of the methylene blue stain. I'm going to grab myself a glass slide and using a new dropper I'm going to go ahead and take out one drop and place it on my slide. Next I'm going to go ahead and put a cover slip on it. And then I'm going to examine it on under a microscope at 10 power. So looking at this underneath the microscope, I am not seeing any microfilaria or any adult heartworms. Um, everything is just staying blue and all I am seeing is a bunch of red blood cells. And that's how you do a modified nut, not heartworm test. Thank you.